Boys and girls of the shaft, something crazy just happened. I'm, I'm busy making dinner and I just get spammed to hell because it's finally happening. Arc 2 is coming and it's coming soon, specifically in six days, December 13. Oh my gosh, we just got extinction. Now Arc 2 is coming out. Holy cow. Wow. Only it's not quite Arc 2, but sort of. So you remember a couple months ago, I made a video about this leaked trailer that had come out for Atlas. Studio Wildcards, new survival pirate game. Well, they just officially announced it at some Game Awards show that I wasn't watching. Apparently it was pretty terrible, but they just announced it. So I'm gonna, so let's just do a live reaction right now. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna look at this trailer for the first time with you guys. Let's do it, man. Okay, so we already, okay, so cool, wow, so they actually have horses. You can hang people? Okay, wait, 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 this looks nothing like the old uh, trailer. This is like completely different. Okay, you got the ships. There's a Hydra in a, whoa, what, is that a Cyclops? Okay, there's the horses again. Nice, real sharks. Yo, what? Okay, this looks way better than the leak we saw. So there's like mythical creatures and stuff. All right, <laughs> okay. All right, there's the fighting system that I saw that I really wanted to try out. Wait a minute, what is this? Okay, this is cool. All right. Okay, so there's some of the building stuff like from Ark that they're just kit bashing into this new one. All right, so some of this, some of it's old content, but uh, I'm assuming it's probably gonna have the same build system. So there's new creatures. There's underwater, whoa, what is that? Some end boss creature? There's like storms and stuff. Okay, so we've got wyverns but a different kind of wyvern, whoa. So this looks completely different from that leak we saw. Wait, 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 wait. Let me take it back a step. Let me, let me click it. Open world survival MMO? Set sail December 13th on Steam. Wait, so is that this? What? So is this like an MMO? Like, or is this just another survival game? Okay, this is awesome, guys. I thought this is gonna be, based on the leak I saw, I thought it was gonna be terrible. This looks awesome. Okay, wow. So it says December 13, 2019 here, but then it says unlocks in six days, but then it says here it's December 13, so they don't specify the year. So I'm just gonna assume that this is wrong. So this means in six days, we're getting a brand new game. Oh my gosh. I was wondering when they were gonna drop this on us. So this is amazing. I'm okay, I'm getting this, I'm jacked. Make sure you guys stick around and you click that notification bell because I am gonna be covering the hell out of this game because this is what I was waiting for. This looks awesome. I'm so excited. So cool, so cool. So about this game, from the creators of Ark Survival Evolved, Atlas, expect uh, early access DLC. A massively multiplayer first and third person fantasy pirate adventure, Atlas will host up to 40,000 players exploring the same globe simultaneously. <gasps> what? So it is just a straight MMO. So this isn't gonna have like private servers and stuff. This is just a straight MMO, what? With an unprecedented scale of cooperation and conflict, stake your claim in this endless open world as you conquer territory, construct ships, search for buried treasure, assemble forts, plunder settlements, and hire crew to join your powerful growing armada. Wage battle against enemy fleets as you single-handedly can command large ships of war using the captaining system, or divide up the responsibilities among your trusted lieutenants, or take control of any weapon directly with your own character. Dive deep into the briny water to explore permanent sunken wrecks and recover salvage. Unearth the loot from procedurally generated treasure maps and challenge zones, or complete challenging main quest lines. Team up with other aspiring adventures and sail into the vast ocean to discover new lands rich with region-specific elements. Tame exotic, natural, and mythical creatures, so we're gonna have taming just like an arc. Raid forgotten tombs, confront powerful ancient gods, and even build and administer your own colonies cities and civilizations to dominate the atlas in the ultimate quest for fortune and glory wow there is a lot of product info oh my gosh so this this looks like a complete game hold on i gotta go grab my food
Wow, and there is a lot, a lot more. Let's just quickly skim through this. MMO on the grandest scale. Physically sail in real time across throughout, who wrote this, the vast oceans with the proprietary server network technology. This was totally written by the Chinese. This has snail games written all over it, man. Explorers, explorers will voyage to over 700 unique land masses with thousands of discovery zones in 10 blah, 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 blah. So we already know that. Construct your own ship. Awesome. So there's ship building. Captain your crew. So basically just like an arc, the tribe system. Pirate PVP to the limit. Everything is up for grabs, including player ships. Wow. Their crew, wait, their crew? Their pets, their forts, their land, and their booty. Damn. If you can get your hands on it, you can take it. A ship's permanent logbook tells the tale of their legendary travel, exploits, and ownership. Wow. This is gonna be... <laughs> you thought ARK PvP was bad. Oh my gosh. Be the hero or villain you were meant to be. So, I mean, MMO, character development, cool. This is who you are. Extensive character visual customization. Thank goodness we needed this with Ark. I'm glad that at least it's coming with uh, Atlas. Endless adventure. Full quest and waypoint systems. Cool, cool, cool. Intense action. Yep, so we have special melee systems and everything. Claim what's yours. Form a company. Claim territory and apply taxation and behavior rules to that which you own. Be a benevolent governor or a feudal lord or a ruthless dictator. Wow, okay, that's cool. Creatures, great and small. Yep, so there's going to be taming. 50 creatures. Wow. Free ports to meet and greet. Level cap starter zones allow you to... Okay, cool. So there's uh, starter zones. Build your empire. Overhauled building systems include automatic foundational elevation adjustment. Dynamic... Wah! Yes! So they basically put S plus as just like the default in Atlas. Great. That is so wonderful. Powerful mod and server functionalities. Wait a minute. Server functionalities. Want to build a World War II Spitfire or a flying fortress bomber with fully walkable interior and gun stations? Carrying troops loaded with machine guns and rocket launchers? How about a tank? An aircraft carrier to play out the Battle of Midway on an expansive scale. How about an Arcadian steampunk airship floating through the floating floating through a cloud world? These examples and much more are provided with the Atlas dev kit. So there's a dev kit day one. Awesome. I would kind of expect that with how much they kit bashed, but where you can make effectively create whatever large scale MMO action game you want to see happen. All supported by the database driven network technology that powers Atlas. Unofficial Atlases can be of any size and configuration. While a visual map tool lets server hosts lay out their own complete custom world of islands, continents, terrain features, spawns, resources, hazards, underwater zones, dynamic weather, biome configuration, ecology, and an infinite number of other configurable features, all dynamically streamed to the client during gameplay. Wow! Okay, that's cool. So this, so yeah, there's going to be unofficial servers. I don't entirely understand how this works, but I guess it's an MMO where official servers are just going to be everybody's linked unofficial and then you can have unofficials for your own private servers awesome i'm starting a server make sure you join far far more stay tuned for more details on the extensive features and content of atlas is it coming out 2019 is it coming out this year it looks practically done so i'm assuming it's coming out in just a couple of days my goodness so close to they literally just released extinction and we're already it's it's been what a month <laughs> And we are already getting a new game. So in case you guys wondered why uh, a lot with Extinction seemed rushed or kind of like lower quality, this is probably your answer because they were working on this. And then a brief history of Atlas. So some lore. I'll let you read that yourself. But my goodness, guys, are you excited? Because I'm excited. This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for something new to do, man. I am kind of arced out. I got to tell you, especially after Extinction, I'm ready for something new. And this is going to be it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that notification bell, because when this comes out, we're going to be grinding the hell out of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.